along with all the home scratch cooking comes a lot of dishes. I'm a very devoted dish doer. She loves coming over and helping me every time I do the dishes. Her favorite thing is just to play the bubbles, but she's starting to learn how to wash things with the rag, you know, pre-wash things for me. So that's been fun getting to train her as she is doing something she really enjoys and keeps her occupied for a really long time too. <laughs> And, yeah, we have a few messes on the floor, but, you know, that just means my floor gets clean, right? Hey, guys, and welcome back to our channel. Pardon my swaying and bouncing. I'm just trying to get Peter to sleep here. Anyway, we are still doing the Three Rivers Challenge, working on using up some of our harvest from last year and getting ready for this coming season of harvest. So, like, emptying our freezers, using up our sweet potatoes, and then we'll start on our camp and that sort of thing. So, for a family of five, this one is not eating real food yet, but we have two of us who are re eating real food. So, I think we made some more good progress this week. So, I did not actually film most of my meals, so I'm just gonna tell you about them because life was a little crazy this week. Some of the, or the girls got a stomach bug over the weekend, and so, you know, I kind of threw things off there a little bit, and they're starting to get better, so hopefully we continue that way. So, Friday night, before all the sickness happened, I made some chicken Devon and had that with some leftover mashed potatoes that we had. So the chicken Devon, I had some cooked up chicken. There had been the sale on chicken, so I bought some and just cooked it all up and threw it in the freezer. So I pulled that out and made the sauce for it and used up some green beans in it. It calls for broccoli, but I use green beans because that works well. Anyway, that was... Friday night's dinner. I don't think we had anything else with it. But it's really yummy. We all like it. There's actually some leftovers that I might have for lunch because I need to eat. Saturday night we had some hamburgers. I'm um, using up some of our ground beef in the freezer. And I made bread that day, so I just made a couple extra. I turned one loaf of bread into some buns for the hamburgers. And so we had that with, you know, the typical toppings and lettuce. And we had some pickles on the side that we had canned. We also had some sweet potato fries with the hamburgers. Sunday lunch, the girls were feeling poorly, so they had yogurt for lunch or not for lunch. As I'm editing this video, I remembered that I should have shared that I make my own yogurt. This is a great way to save some money if you're trying to save money and budget and all that. You can take a gallon of yogurt and turn it into a gallon of yogurt for as much as a gallon of milk costs. So it's a super easy way and economical way to save some money and make a dollar stretch. I have a video of it and I'll link it down below in the description. Nathan and I had a baguette with pulled pork on it. So when I made bread the other day, I had made, um, you know, I made those buns and I also made a baguette out of the other half of that loaf. So I just split it down the middle, put some pulled pork with barbecue sauce on it, some cheddar cheese, some bacon bits, and it was delicious. Oh, and I threw it in under the broiler and broiled it and it was, very delicious. Perfect for the two of us. I don't remember what I made Sunday night. We might have just had leftovers. Because everybody was, well, the girls were sick. So it was just Nathan and I. I don't remember what we had. Anyway, Monday night, I made unstuffed peppers, which I thought was really delicious. And I think Bethany really liked it. Um, so I had some peppers in the fr fridge that were getting kind of old. And so I needed to use them up. They were quite a bit older than I thought they were, and some of them were actually no good, so I did not use them. <laughs> anyway, I would originally going to be making regular stuffed peppers, but I found this recipe for unstuffed peppers, and it was really delicious. You just kind of mix everything all together, cook the rice right in there, and put some cheese on top. I do have a picture of that. It doesn't look very appetizing, but it was really delicious, and I enjoyed it a lot. I was very glad there was leftovers. Um, Tuesday night I made Mongolian beef. This is a little bit time consuming to make because you have to fry the pieces of steak individually basically in the skillet and you have to do a couple batches for a family our size. Anyway, but it tastes really good. I've tried making it other ways like in the crock pot or whatever, but this frying part makes it the best. So I did that and yeah, we barely had any leftovers. Bethany was shoveling this down like it was going on style. She learned how to say the word rice and she loves rice and is that was a popular meal with her. We had some broccoli on the side with it. I enjoyed it. Rice? Rice. 
Do you love rice? Mm -hmm. Do you love shoveling it down? I also cooked the rice and some ham broth and that made it tasty too. Wednesday night, I needed a quick and easy meal. Cause and so I took out one of my Wednesday meals and we had lasagna soup for dinner that night. One of my favorite soups ever. And yes, it's just so, so like a sloppy bowl of lasagna. Just so cheesy and yummy and I think it's great. Also for that day's lunch, I'd made some more tomato soup because it was kind of a chilly day and I had the tomatoes and ham broth in a bag in the freezer and I just made up that soup really quick and made some paninis with it. So, you know, another bag out of my freezer that I used up. <laughs> so exciting. And last time for dinner, I made some sausage stuffing. Again, I had gone grocery shopping and got home kind of almost at dinner time and everybody was hangry. So I quick pulled that out of the freezer. It was one of my freezer meals from when I had Peter and heated it up and yeah Bethany again enjoyed the rice down in that like crazy and Nathan and I enjoyed the sausage stuffing and squash. <laughs> so then today I was making another sweet potato casserole. We had another funeral at our church and so I was making a sweet potato casserole for it and yeah it uses up quite a bit of sweet potatoes and it also uses a few other things. I have a big bin of pecans that I had harvested mm, probably a year and a half ago now and so I was able to use up some of those in there. And then I ran out of brown sugar, so I made my own brown sugar with some molasses and white sugar. It worked out perfectly, and yeah, it looks delicious. I haven't tried it yet. This, I tried a different recipe this time than I did the last time. And this one actually looks more like what I thought it was going to look like, so. Hopefully, it tastes just, just as good as I remembered. There was a lady who used to make this all the time at her church, and she passed away this past year. And so, um... I found her recipe. Well, hopefully it's the recipe she used, or it looks more like her recipe. So hopefully it tastes as good as she used to make it, and yeah, everybody will enjoy it. So, also, this week, and this is not meal related exactly, it's more like using up my inventory, kind of. I was taking inventory of what I had. <laughs> I was cleaning out a cupboard, and a jar of, one of my jars fell and broke, and it was full of sweet potato powder. So I'd taken some of my sweet potatoes, cooked them, mashed them, freeze dried them, powdered them, and put them in a jar around Thanksgiving time. And yeah, that whole thing broke. So that was like a quart of sweet potato powder. Gone! <laughs> I didn't get anything from it because I was not about to eat that because it was full of glass. Anyway, I guess that took care of that part of my inventory. But I'm hopefully going to do some more sweet potato powder because that was handy for making muffins and such. So our meals for this week. I had planned to do a better job of like filming everything and all that. Maybe next week. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, what are some ways you used up food this week? Are you doing a painter challenge this month as well? Let me know. Down in the comments. I know a lot of other people are. There's tons and tons of people if you search for the hashtag three reverse challenge. Maybe you'll find some ways to make things from scratch or use up things that maybe have gotten forgotten a little bit that may have gotten forgotten in your cupboards or your freezers or your pantry or whatever. So let me know what you're making too. I'd love to know that. And if you have any good recipes for beef, sweet potatoes, lots of other veggies and things, let me know because I'm always up for trying something new. Oh, peppers too. I have lots of peppers still. So if you have fun ways to use up peppers, I'm all for it. If you're new here, we'd love for you to subscribe and check out some of our other videos. We do a lot of homesteading things like gardening and making food from scratch and family life and that sort of thing. So we'd love to have you stick around and watch some more of our videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Oh, look at that. Peter is asleep.